Hello everyone, this is Michael Perry for Garage Games LLC. I'm one of the lead developers for Torque2D, an open source game engine under the MIT license. At the time of this video recording, Torque2D has been publicly available on GitHub for less than a day. While the news continues to spread and people start investigating the engine, I thought I would create a very brief getting started video. In this video, I will not be covering all the features, toys, and plans for Torque2D. We plan on building a robust set of documentation and more examples in the future, including coverage of our source code and how to use TorqueScript. This video is just a quick start on getting the repository, compiling the engine, running it, and then adding a basic module. So with that in mind, let's get started. Next step is to get Torque2D from the GitHub repository. And you can use any client that you want. A lot of people just use the command line or they use the uh, clients provided by GitHub. I personally like to use SmartGit. It's it does cost money, but it is my favorite solution so far as a Git client. It has a great interface. Uh, the merge tools are excellent. It's very quick, and it actually works on Windows and Mac. So I'm going to use that in this video, but you need to adjust this according to what client you might use. So the first part is I went to Clonal Repository, and I put in the link to our master branch for Torque2D. So I'm going to go ahead and click Continue on that. And then on uh, OS 10, it gives me the option to pick the path where I want to do a clone to. So I'm just going to use my go-to solution usually. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as Torque2D. And then Git, uh, Smart Git allows you to name a project so I can easily switch between all my different repositories. So I'm going to just keep it the same name. And I'm going to hit Finish. So as you can see, down in the bottom right, it's cloning. And it's actually it's a really small repository, and my uh, I'm downloading it fairly quickly, so it won't take long at all. But while that's going on, I switch over to an existing repo I've cloned. Oh, look at that. It's actually finished already. So I'm going to jump into that repo real quick. And this is what you'll see when you first get started. Uh, you're going to have the beginning files for Torque2D. You've got primarily an engine, modules, tools, folders, and then my starting entry script. Uh, first, as you see right now, there's no pre-made binaries that will be changing in the near future. So just to start with, I need to go open up the compiler for whatever platform I'm on. If you're on Windows, you'll use Visual Studio. On OS 10 for uh, Mac, you will use Xcode, and if you actually want to start deploying to an iOS device, then you would use Xcode iOS. And we'll be adding more projects in the future. So I'm going to open up Xcode. And it's going to start off large, so I need to resize it real quick. So when I go to select my scheme, there's only one target. It's a project, Torque2D. I've already got my framework set up and all the source code is included. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the release scheme. And I'm going to build. Now depending on your machine and its capabilities, this could take a little bit or it could uh, go really quickly. Uh, with only 422 source files, it just uh, it's uh, actually a very simple engine that we've reorganized over the past year. And as soon as this is finished, it's going to drop the Torque2D application in the root folder of my Git clone. And it should also be noted that the Xcode projects, if you happen to be a, a user of AppCode, which is a third-party compiler and IDE for uh, OS 10 and iOS deployment, these will work just fine with it as well. And I actually usually use that for my development. But uh, for now, just for the sake of trying to stay with what you all might be using, I just open up the next code. So I've compiled. And now I'm ready to start using the engine. And you see I've got my Torque2D application here. And the next thing we're going to do is just look at some of the default examples and toys.